We have arrived in Budapest and what a city it is. I can't wait to explore it a little bit more. Now, I made a video last week about uh, smelling the scent of the forest and that gave me some inspiration. I wanted to bring that scent into the car with me as I was driving from the forest into the city. So I made a little, uh, a little air freshener and I will show you how I do that now. Okay, so we got the car into the long-term parking got everything up here. We're on the fourth floor. It is a dreek day, it is raining, so uh, I can't think of anything better than unpacking everything, getting the studio set up, and then showing you how I've made this air freshener. Okay, that's not a bad start, still a lot of work to do, but uh, time is short, so let me show you how to make the most wonderful, beautiful pine car fragrance. So this recipe uses fir needle, pine needle, cedar wood, juniper berry, and lemon. If you don't have both of those needles, then just double up on the one that you do have. So it is two drops fir needle, two drops pine needle. It is then one drop cedar wood and two drops juniper berry and three drops of lemon to give it that nice zesty top. Now we will be putting it into a little dropper bottle and I will show you how to do the maths for that now. Now it's always good to jot down your recipes so you've got them uh, for the future. Now, as you can see, our total recipe is 10 drops. Now I want to fill that 10 milliliter bottle that I showed you earlier. Now I'm gonna do 20, 80, 20% 20 essential oils. Uh, so I need two milliliter of essential oils. It's 27 drops in every milliliter of essential oils. So I want about 60 drops of oil in total. Uh, if I was being totally accurate, I think it would be 54. But uh, timesing everything by six is nice and easy. So as you can see, pine will be 12, fir 12, cedar 6, juniper 12, and lemon 18. Using a multiple of six, I will then increase the amount in my beaker. I'll then add a couple of squishes of perfumer's alcohol or the strongest vodka that you can find. I'll then give it a good little stir so the essential oils get to know each other. We then want to decant this perfume into our little bottle using our dropper pipette. We'll then top up the rest of the bottle with our perfumer's alcohol. And that brings us to the exciting bit. I keep my bottle in the dashboard and I put four drops on a cotton pad so I get that nice, beautiful fragrance in the car where I'm driving. I think you can even see the cotton pad on my dashboard there as I'm driving through the forest. Wonderful. So there you have my pine fragrance. It is a really simple but beautiful recipe. And because the concentration is so low, it can also be used as a perfume. And oh, that's so gorgeous. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Why not subscribe to the channel where we discover everything scent related? My name's Will Wobioff, and I will see you in the next video. All right, cheerio.